All right, so let's talk. If you are a fan of the TV show, The Office, like I personally am, well then this is an absolute necessity. A presidential campaign hat for the TV show characters, Michael Scott and Dwight Trout for 2020. I mean, what a world that would be. <laughs> and this is exactly what we are making in today's episode. So let's get crafty. That's what she said. Hey, my name is Michael and this is Mr. Crafty Pants, your cricket and crafting channel where I post cricket tutorials and projects and inspiration multiple times every single week. So if you haven't subscribed yet, what on earth are you waiting for? Go ahead and stamp that subscribe button and then ring that bell for all of the notifications so that you never miss a single cricket minute. Today is day number seven of the 15 day crafty challenge where myself and a bunch of other crafty content creators are joining forces to help flatten that curve by encouraging all of you all to stay home, to stay safe and to stay crafty. And we're doing that by providing you daily craft tutorials on each of our channels. Now for a full list of all the channels, please check that description box below. I'll have all those content creators listed and linked. Not only that, but we're also doing some huge giveaways along the way just to, you know, add in a little bit of fun. We have a huge list of brands, all of which are listed down below as well. And they are sponsoring this video series by donating all kinds of awesome goodness that we can in turn give away to all of you guys. Now, all you need to do to win is craft alongside of us, create some of the projects that we're doing in this series, and then just simply take some pictures of it, post it on Facebook or on Instagram with the hashtag craft for the curve for your chance to win. Now for anybody who knows me, and I mean knows me, like truly gets me, they know that I am obsessed with all things The Office. And I really have been for about a decade now, but with it being an election year and all, I thought it'd be just a little fun to mix those two worlds together. And that is exactly what we're doing for today's project. We are making a campaign hat for Michael Scott and Dwight Schrute's presidential campaign. And we're doing it with this hat right here that I got off of Amazon. I got a pack of these for, I don't remember the price, but it was fairly inexpensive. I will link that down in the description box below for you if you're interested. And we're gonna customize this with some HTV, AKA iron on vinyl. And as far as HTV goes, I'll be using blue and red for today's project. I'm gonna cut out my design on my Cricut Maker, but you could use any cutting machine like a Cricut Explore Air 2 or a Cricut Joy as well. And to adhere the vinyl to the hat, I am gonna be using my Cricut Easy Press Mini. So I'm just pulling up Auntie and I'm just gonna select SVGs and cut files right here. I'm gonna scroll down a little bit and click on SVGs again. And here I'm gonna select Disney and characters. And on this page, I'm just scrolling all the way to the bottom and selecting the office right here. And I'm gonna select this file right here, the Scott Schrute 2020 logo. And I'm gonna come right up here towards the top right and select this little download icon and then choose direct to download. Now I'm just opening up Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna come over here to the left-hand side of the page and select upload and then select upload image, browse, and I'm opening this file right here. All right, so here's our file right here under our recently uploaded images. I'm selecting that and then coming down here to the bottom right hand corner to select insert images. All right, so the first thing that I wanna do is come over here to the right hand side of the page, to the layers panel and ungroup all of these. And I'm doing that by just selecting the group and then coming right up here to the top of the layers panel and selecting ungroup. Now I can just go through and select each subgroup just like this and then come down here to the bottom right hand corner of the page and select attach. And now our image has two parts, a red layer and a blue layer, which is exactly what we were wanting. Now I'm just gonna click and drag over both of these elements and then come back up here to the top right hand corner and select group. That way we can resize them and move them across the canvas collectively. What I need to do now is just measure out our cap to see how big we want our decal to be. So according to this, the perfect decal, at least in my mind, would be about five and a half inches wide. I'm gonna type that into Cricut Design Space and it will tell us what the height would be of that decal if we made it five and a half inches wide. So I'm just gonna come up here to the top of the canvas right here where it says size and I'm gonna change that width to 5.5 and then just click enter. 
And according to this, the height would be right at two inches or so. So let's just measure that out on the cap, make sure that that will look all right. All right, so yeah, two inches would be perfect. So let's put that in there and we'll get to cutting. I'm gonna come up here to the top right hand corner and select make it. And since this is iron on, I wanna make sure that I mirror both mats. So I'm gonna come over here and select mirror. And now just come down here and select this blue mat and do the same for that. And then just come down here to the bottom right hand corner and select continue. Now for materials, I am selecting everyday iron on. Now with iron on vinyl, AKA HTV or heat transfer vinyl, the shiny side will always go facing down. And now I'm just gonna load my mat. I wanna unload my red vinyl and then load in my blue. And while that's cutting, I'm gonna go ahead and start weeding. And to get my vinyl off of the mat, I'm just slipping my mat over and peeling my mat away from the vinyl instead of the other way around. Just like that. All right, so I'm just gonna pull up our easy press settings on my laptop. And if you would like the link to this website, I will link that for you down in the description box below. So I'm gonna use my Cricut Easy Press Mini today. So I'm gonna to select that option right there. For the heat transfer material, I'm gonna select Everyday Iron On. For the base material, I'm gonna select 100% cotton and then select Apply. All right, so they're telling us to preheat our fabric for five seconds. We're gonna set the heat temp on medium, which is just the second notch up. And we're gonna do constant movement with light pressure and then flip and press the opposite side for 15 seconds. And then just do a warm peel. I am gonna take my easy press mat and kind of roll it up. And then fold it a little bit and then stick it inside this cap. Just like that. For this design in particular, I am gonna split it up and adhere one side at a time. And I'm just gonna fold this decal back a little bit so I can preheat this other side. So since I am applying multiple layers of vinyl, what I'm gonna do is do the tack method, which is where I'll barely apply one of the layers by heating it for maybe five to 10 seconds or so, waiting for it to cool down, peeling off the transfer tape, and then applying the second layer. Doing it that way just ensures that we don't scorch or burn that first layer of vinyl. And since this first layer isn't fully adhered, just be extremely careful when peeling off the transfer tape. And now for the blue layer. So now I wanna heat both layers for the full 25 seconds. All right, so now I'm gonna remove my Easy Press mat and then go inside of the hat and hit the back side for 15 seconds. All right, so now I'm gonna wait for this to cool off from hot to warm before we peel off that transfer tape. All right, you guys, and here we are. I would absolutely love to know if you're a fan of The Office and if you are, if you're planning on making something like this or not. Now, if you do decide to make something like this, be sure to take some photos, put it on Facebook or on Instagram and use the hashtag craft for the curve because you never know. You could be one of our huge prize winners for the 15 day crafty challenge. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I am so grateful for each and every single one of you all. And until next time, stay home, stay safe and stay crafty.